सो डियर फ्रेंड्स हियर वी यर इन अनदर डिस्कशन ऑफ शिक्षा मंत्र बट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आवर डिस्कशन लेट एस सीयर शम थिंग वॉट वी लर्न एंड हाउ वी लर्न most of the times in shiksha mantra i focus on these two words actually you learn what you ask what you crave for from within andar se jo question aata hai na tum sirf wahi seekhte ho kyunki kisi ne kabhi bhi kitna bhi try kar le lekin tumhe kuch sikha nahi sakta if you learn it must come from within a question is very much essential so let's begin our discussion today with a question and let's see what's waiting there in these questions actually this is not question rather i'll present two sentences here and would ask you to read these sentences and to find out if you gather anything from it the first sentence is here though the class was lengthy the class was enjoyable so it was a lengthy class but the class was enjoyable this is the first sentence though the class was lengthy the class was enjoyable and what's there in the second sentence let read it out as well the class was lengthy but it was enjoyable so the same sentence if you follow these two sentences you'll get that sentences are just the same they mean the same but there is the difference in their constructions now try to find out if you can gather what's the difference in the construction in between these two sentences can you find it out if you have found it out write it down in the description below and we are returning with the answer till you write it down in the comment section we are returning soon so just type it out Yes dear friends you have found it right these two sentences are actually the two different sides of a same coin if you have a coin and you look at it what you will get you will get only the two sides are the different but if you look from the uh, ashok pillar our national emblem or from the side where it is written the mount actually you will call it the same coin so the same thing happens here as well these two sentences mean the same but the first sentence is complex and the second sentence is compound yes dear friends whenever you learn a sentence whenever you produce a sentence you may produce these sentences either in complex mode or in compound mode and also in simple mode so here we are going to learn one of the most important thing in your english syllabus in your english learning whatever class you may belong to and even if you are student of the competitive exams like ias ips wbcs or any civil service examinations it's going to be very much helpful for you so here we'll learn the transformation of complex sentences into compound sentences in terms of very simple 11 rules so have your pen and paper ready we are going to get our rules of transformation from complex to compound but before we start it's better for us to learn what is a complex sentence a complex sentence is nothing but it's a conjugation of several sentences but these sentences have different statuses the first one that you have to remember that in complex sentence you'll get only one principal clause and all the other clauses will be subordinate clauses that means one independent clause and all other dependent clause you have to have at least one dependent clause there and you might have more than one but one dependent clause and one independent clause this is the minimum criteria this is the minimum requirement for formation of complex sentence so here's a sentence for you i'll wait here until you come so i'll wait here this is the depend independent clause until you come this is the dependent clause or subordinate clause so this is a complex sentence now what's a compound sentence let's uh, discuss what's a compound sentence a compound sentence is different from a complex sentence with only one aspect and that is 
here you'll get more than one clause at least two clauses but <clears throat> what is most important here for compound sentences you'll get all the sentences which are independent clauses here you don't get the story of dependent clause and independent clause rather here each and every clause is an independent clause and these clauses are connected together with a uh, coordinating conjunctions so for complex sentence we use subordinating conjunctions and for compound sentences we use coordinating conjunctions so here's an example listening to music and singing songs are my hobbies so here listening to music is my hobby singing songs is my hobby so here actually these two clauses are independent clauses so this is all about compound sentence so finally we have learned what is complex sentence and what is compound sentence so now here it's our turn to learn about the rules which will use for transforming complex sentence into compound sentence and here comes our first rules let's discuss the rules but before discussing the rules let's have a look at the examples here we have two sentences though he is poor he is happy so though he is poor he is happy this is a complex sentence and when we transform it into compound sentence we get he is poor but he is happy so it's a very simple fact if you focus on what you get here when the construction of compound complex sentence comes with though or although you have to use but or yet in between the two clauses to transform it into compound sentence isn't it a very easy one yes dear friends whatever rules will discuss here the rules all the rules are very very easy the fact is you have to remember the rules you have to follow them properly and will get transformation for complex to compound is not tough at all most of the time i have found my students suffer with these transformations actually for the formation of compound sentences so this effort is going to help you a lot just follow it till the end complex sentence study hard lest you should fail here we have used lest and list this is very much very much important because most of the time you make mistakes with these sentences so when the compound comes with list what you'll do you have to transform it into compound sentence like this study hard or you will fail so what we have done just follow what we have make here in the complex sentence you get list and after this the clause comes with should so it's a list plus should combination and when you get it when you transform it into compound sentence you have to put a comma and use or or otherwise for the second clause and here you must remember that for the second clause you have to use future tense look you should fail we have converted into you will fail what was you should fail here we have converted in, into you will fail so this is how we may transform complex sentences with list and should into compound sentences and here comes our third rules for the third rules complex sentences as soon as the rain stopped we started the journey yes dear friends it's a very common sentence most of the time you face these sentences and uh, sentences with as soon as is also very common in transformation of sentences questions or do as direct questions so when you have to transform these as soon as questions into compound sentence what you do the rain stopped and we started the journey so it's very simple just remember here you have to use and in between these two sentences dropping as soon as and your sentence has been converted into compound sentence so it's not tough at all it's very easy so let's uh, shift to our next rules that is the fourth rules yes dear friends here the complex sentence and i haven't produced the compound sentence here why it's very simple it's your turn to produce the compound sentence complex sentence is since the weather was bad the match did not take place now 
transform it into compound sentence write your answer in the comment box below i'll check it how many of you have uh, answered it properly i know most of my students here in shiksha mantra will answer them very properly because this is not such a tough sentence why i'm saying that it's very easy because it has so many options to produce in compound sentence the weather was bad and the match did not take place so we have used and there's also the weather was bad therefore the match did not take place so you may use therefore and the weather was bad show or hence the match did not take place so you have four options here but for what first i have a focus on what you get in the complex sentence this is very much important because it will decide what will be your transformation into compound sentence and when you transform from compound to complex you would have to follow the opposite direction that means you have to focus what's there in the compound sentence and you'll follow the rules back to complex sentence so it's a vice versa process you have to remember both the side not uh, only the compound side or only the complex side it's it don't work actually you have to learn both the sides well and you have to remember both the sides so when there's scenes as or when in the complex sentence and obviously at the beginning this is very much important when you get them at the beginning what will do you have the options to use and show hence therefore to connect the different clauses so that's our fourth uh, rules and now we'll shift to our <clears throat> yes dear friends the fifth rules and here also we have the complex sentence i saw a girl who was singing now write down write down the answer in the comment section below i know it's you can do it it's very very simple it's very easy here's your answer i saw a girl and she was singing i saw a girl and she was singing it's very simple here we have used and but follow this with and we have used a comma as well this is the most important thing with and we have used the comma too so what comes here the rules says when you get who in the complex sentence what will you do in the compound sentence in the compound sentence you will transform who into and but dear friend there's a but yes what looks very simple actually need much much attention yes dear friends when you handle a very simple or easy thing don't forget to put more focus on it because a simple thing is more prone to mistake than a complex or compound one so what happens here as well we have discussed about who which would be transformed into and but have you forgotten there's another point and what's the point our compound sentence means it's a combination of several principal clauses so you have to supply what you have to supply a subject here the verb and everything is there but only the subject now what would be the subject who is the subject here and who refers to whom a girl so you have to place c that is the thing which was there in the complex sentence before who will be your subject for the compound sentence it's very simple it's not very tough uh, i'm discussing it but only uh, to a hammer only to uh, actually ring a bell tan 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 yeah yes dear friends it's only a bell the the task of a teacher is only to ring a bell warning hello dear students here's the warning hello dear friends look at it here's a bell to bell to ring tin 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 yes don't forget to use the subject here you have produced and and you have forgotten to put the subject it would be a mistake that's why it's a warning only and it's not tough at all so let's shift to our next rules that is the sixth rules and from here it takes a huge turn everything gets very 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 much connected yes dear friends here's a magic waiting for you if you have reached rule 6 so from 6 to 11 all these rules are connected let me tell you before we start the discussion uh, from rule 6 all these rules are connected what you have to do 
you have to remember each and every rule and you will find the next one easier but if you have forgotten the next one will be tough so you have to get back and uh, listen to the sixth rules then the seventh then the eighth and whenever you've forgotten it you have to come back again so return learn it and proceed further you'll find these rules are actually one rules but with several other formats so here's the first sentence in complex if i do not go there i'll be unable to learn it if i do not go there so in compound it will be let me go there or otherwise i'll be unable to learn it so what happens here if you follow it you will uh, find out that after if what we have we have i as the subject and then we have negative do not so here the subject is the first person and there's also negative so these are the clues so what comes here we must remember if the subject after the if clause of the if clause is either first person or second person with negative meaning obviously while transforming it we will use this construction let plus object form of pronoun plus affirmative form of subordinate clause plus or or otherwise plus main clause it's very easy what we have done here we have used let then object form me me is the object form of i then we have used what affirmative form of the subordinate clause this is very much important if i do not go there that's in negative but let me go there that's affirmative this is the most important part and to adjust this transformation from negative to affirmative we have put or or otherwise and then the rest of it i'll be unable to learn it that's it it's very simple just remember and you'll find the seventh rules to be very much easy so here comes our seventh rules if i go there i'll be unable to learn it before you look at the compound sentence first have a look at the complex sentence well make your eyes uh, larger pause the video here and look at the complex sentence you'll find the difference if i go there i'll be able to learn it pause the uh, video and uh, look at it yes dear friends that's the factor here everything remains the same except the if clause the if clause is not negative here rather this is affirmative if i go there i'll be able to learn it there it was if i do not go there so it's very simple you'll follow the same rules if i go there so let me go there and i'll be able to learn it here also you'll get a difference and what's the difference the same construction is followed here here also after if comes first person and it will be the same for the third person as well but as it is in affirmative the if clause is in affirmative and we didn't have to change anything from affirmative to negative from negative to affirmative no change is done so what we'll do we don't have to adjust it with uh, or or otherwise so we have used and here let me go there and i'll be able to learn it what was there let me go there or i'll be unable to learn it but that's not here here we haven't transformed the if clause into affirmative to negative to negative to affirmative because here it's given in affirmative so what i have told you i have told you now the sixth rules the seventh rules and the rules thereafter will be just the different forms of the same sentence so check it out here for our rules number 8 and here comes the examples if you do not study hard you will fail yes dear friends read the sentence here what's the difference it's the copy of the first uh, discussion that we have uh, begun with if that is rule number 6 what you have done there if i and there we have discussed that it's applicable for the first person and third person subjects but here we have second person subjects if you do not study hard so the subject has been changed but the rest remain the same it's also negative so the same rules will be followed but this time without let study hard or you will fail there we have used let but here you won't have to use let for the second person it's very simple for the second person it takes imperative mood that's why you don't need to use the rules here read the rules pause the video write it down have a note of it 
and uh, also if you want these uh, uh, rules to be there you have to follow my telegram channel in the telegram channel i put all the rules uh, with the uh, pictures uh, with the photos and examples so from there you may learn it or you may pause the video and write it down what's there in this rule it's very easy the same rules that we have followed there in rule 6 we have followed here as well with or or otherwise but only one difference there we have used let but here let is not used so what would be the rules number nine you can tell me sir it's very easy in rules number nine you will use affirmative sentence with you and we have done it so if you study hard you will get good marks if you study hard second person with affirmative and what would be the answer it would be with and you have already learned it yes dear friend study hard and you will get good marks so what we have done here we have done that very simple thing here also we have used verb plus and plus main clause verb plus and plus main clause that's it there's nothing more in it only it's a copy of which rules it's a copy of rule number seven only this time here you won't have to use let because it's in second person and that's all from rules nine now we'll set to rules ten which is also not a very different rules. I'm so tired that I cannot walk. Yeah, I'm too tired to walk. You form the simple sentence from this. I know if I ask you to transform it into simple sentence, you'd very easily do it. Sir, it will be, I'm too tired to walk, but that's for simple sentence, but hey, remember better. This time you have been asked to transform it into compound sentence and not simple sentence. Yes. It's, it's really very important because most of the time I have found my betters and betties what you do. You don't read properly what's the instruction and you make mistakes. You have been asked to transform it into compound but forcefully you have found so that construction and you know it would be too too construction and it's very rhythmic. I'm too tired to walk. I'm too tired to walk without checking whether it's been asked to transformed into compound or simple you write it down and make the mistake but here don't do this just check what is there if it's compound sentence your answer would be i'm very tired and so or hence or therefore i cannot walk i'm very tired hence i cannot walk i'm very tired therefore i cannot walk that would be the compound sentence. It's very easy. There's nothing. No rocket science is there. Only some simple logic. If you follow this simple logic, you will get English grammar. It's very easy. It's not about rocket science, but, but it's scientific. It's mathematical. It's very much mathematical. If you ask me, I will say every time I look at a grammar rules, I try to find out algebra arithmetic from here yes dear friends it's just mathematical it's logic so the logic follows and you won't have any problem here with your grammar rules and that's also our rules 10 and now we'll set to the 11th rules and that's the last rules as well so here unless you unless so far we were discussing about if now it's unless so what's the basic difference between if and unless? It's also about affirmative and negative. If if is affirmative condition, unless presents negative conditions. So here we are with negative conditions. That's that it. So let's uh, read out the complex sentence first. Unless you share prayers, you cannot advise anyone to share prayers. It's obvious. Do and ask others to follow. You don't do, but only ask others to do. That's not a good habit. And nobody is going to listen to you as well. If I don't prepare myself and I'm teaching you English grammar, are you going to listen to me? You won't. And the same thing happens for you. If you ask your younger brother or younger sister, hey, remember these grammar rules. It's very important to remember the English grammar rules because when you remember grammar rules, you'll find it very easy to answer your questions. They aren't going to listen to you unless and until you read them, you prepared them, you remembered them yourselves because they would ask you, have you done it? Do you remember all the rules? There is 
it has been discussed in shiksha mantra yes dear friends so unless you share prayers you cannot advise anyone to share prayers and what would be the compound sentence the compound sentence would be share prayers or you cannot advise anyone to share prayers it's very simple comma and or that will do the trick yes dear friends so here we have changed what we have changed we have changed unless it has been vanished we have erased unless so you share prayers we have erased you as well following the same rules we have told you now if there's you you have to banish it so we have banished it and vanished it so we got what we got say prayers it's negative so opposition is there and we have used comma and or but 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 what but what would be if it comes with unless i share prayers i cannot advise anyone to share prayers let me share prayers or i cannot advise anyone to share prayers i follow just the rules number six yes dear friends this is the most important thing look i have remembered i'm not only preaching you i'm not only advising you but i have done it i have remembered what's there in rule number six what's there in rule number seven what's the difference between rule number one and rule number if the eleven i know it so you have to do this as well and when you do this i can tell you thanks for learning and thanks for being here with us in shiksha mantra observe it not for my sake it's for your sake yes dear friends it's only for your sake write them down remember them and obviously you are going to flourish in your endeavor to learn english and we are here to provide as much support as we can here in shiksha mantra so we are returning very soon till then happy learning